Cruz Investigates tip line at 818-655-2442. Scientists have discovered a new species of dinosaur. The Natural History Museum says the armored dinosaur was found on the Isle of Wight off the coast of England. It's named Vectipelta Barretti after Professor Paul Barrett of the Natural History Museum. Researchers say this dinosaur would have been roaming the earth between 66 and 145 million years ago. Parts of its fossils will be displayed at the Dinosaur Isle Museum this summer. Wow. Well, the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell is next. And tonight, after last night's devastating tornadoes and flooding, where severe weather is headed next? Car. But question is, is it safe to be this cool? <laughs> the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell starts right now. Millions of Americans under severe weather threat after deadly tornadoes and dangerous flooding wreak havoc across the South. A look at where the storm is headed next. Here are tonight's headlines. The tornado is just uh, 100 yards or so right there. A small Texas town devastated after a twister tears apart neighborhoods and kills at least three. So scary. And parts of Florida underwater after torrential rain. Jurors have reached a guilty verdict in the synagogue shooting trial. I am feeling a sense of relief. The shooter is being held accountable for those awful acts. Attorney General Merrick Garland releases a scathing report on the Minneapolis Police Department following the death of George Floyd. Its patterns and practices investigation found that the police department has a history of using excessive force and violating citizens' civil rights. UPS union workers threatened to strike. What it could mean for your packages. Hundreds of thousands of UPS union workers could walk off the job, making it the largest strike in U.S. history. The whistleblower who leaked the Pentagon Papers exposing secrets about the Vietnam War dies. Tonight, a look at Daniel Ellsberg's legacy. At GM's Milford Proving Ground outside Detroit, these screens replace their traditional dashboard. One of the big influences behind these screens are video games. And it's Friday, so we go on the road. From a desperate place across the Atlantic, a suspicious message went out. I took him for a scammer, but he showed me that there was a different side to him. It's just a lot of fun to see people be the hero of their own story. Good evening to our viewers in the West, and thank you for joining us on this Friday night. We begin with dangerous weather that is here to stay. Through next week, we will see record heat. And this weekend into Father's Day, 10 states from Colorado to Florida are bracing for severe thunderstorms. It's another round of serious weather after a night of tornadoes and widespread destruction across the south and central parts of the country. At least five people were killed, including an 11-year-old boy, when twisters, high winds, and thunderstorms swept across Mississippi, Florida, and Texas. In the small city of Perryton, Texas, nearly 200 homes were reduced to rubble and debris scattered around. Hundreds of thousands remain without power in six southern states. In Florida's panhandle, residents had to be rescued after 15 to 16 inches of rain fell in a matter of hours. CBS's Omar Villafranca is seeing the devastation up close and starts us off from Perryton, where the governor just declared a disaster. Good evening, Omar. Good evening. Preliminary reports from the National Weather Service says this was an EF2 tornado. That means wind speeds of up to 135 miles an hour. And take a look at some of the damage that was left behind. You had metal and wood buildings that didn't stand a chance. Even brick buildings took a beating. There are debris piles like this all around. This small city took a big hit, and it could take months to rebuild. Tonight, 
parts of the panhandle in pieces. 